So yesterday, Brooklyn's mom posted on her IG story stating, surround yourself with people who fight for you in rooms you aren't in. And Brooklyn then followed reposting that as well. So now a lot of supporters are speculating that this post may be shade towards Jay Cinco, especially because of the timing of all of this. So now Brooklyn Queen went live last night and during this live, a supporter in the chat asked her whether or not her mother was throwing shade at Cinco. So she decided to respond directly to the situation. My mama didn't shade nobody. She just telling how it is. I'm sorry that we're not, we're not. I can't even. How old are you? I'm 18. Um, I was gonna say I was gonna say we not the type, but I'm not gonna disrespect my mom like that. But we're not the type to like we're not gonna sugarcoat nothing. We're just gonna tell it how it is, and that goes for anybody. That's just not not just for this situation that's happening. That's in general. Like I don't even want to. I'm not even finna speak on it. Okay, and if her post was about that, then it was about that. And if it was about everybody else who has, like, come on now. That goes for y'all too. You don't let nobody, like, come on. My mama ain't ever said she didn't like nobody. So now a lot of supporters have been wondering whether or not Jay Cinco and Brooklyn Queen are back on good terms. Well, it looks like they are because they've been joking back and forth online with all of this. So now ever since the situation happened with Deshay, a lot of supporters have been pointing out the fact that though she may not want people to speak on her name, she has spoken on Brooklyn Frost's name multiple times in the past. So the very first time that Brooklyn Queen linked up with Jay Cinco, this is what she had to say about Brooklyn Frost. What's the biggest lie you ever told your ex? <laughs> oh, damn. And be like honest. Like, yeah, what's be, the I'm biggest lie? I'm trying to think. The biggest lie? Damn, that's cold blooded, bro. Um, the biggest lie I ever told my ex, um, I don't know. I ain't really lie, lie like that. I swear I didn't. Everyone lied. Not everybody lies, but it's like my line wasn't like, I ain't lying about nothing crazy like so that. So you lied over stupid. Like I lie like to protect feelings, yeah. Like if my mom didn't like her, I'd be like, my mom like it. Like that's a lie. Like, you feel, I'm just not Did your mom it. not like your ex? Nah, she didn't like Moms always see it first. Yeah, you should listen to your mom. All right, we're gonna get. So directly after this video, Brooklyn Frost unfollowed Brooklyn Queen. And now what a lot of supporters felt like should have been expected, it seemed like Brooklyn Queen felt slighted by this unfollow. So now fast forward to November when Brooklyn Queen was doing her own hot seat, she was then asked why did she then turn around and unfollow Brooklyn Frost? And this is how she responded. Why did you unfollow Cinco's ex? Because she unfollowed me after I linked with him. So clearly, um, what's your problem? Do we have an issue? Because before you were commenting on my shit, telling me I'm the hardest under my rap videos. And I thought we was straight, you know? But it's always with the same name as you who always got a problem with you. I swear to God, every Brooklyn I've met got a problem with me. Mm -hmm. But if you unfollow me, I'm going to unfollow you back what I look like following you. I'm not a fan. Never was. Mm. Hello. So after this video was dropped, a lot of supporters then pointed out the fact that Brooklyn Queen did not mention any sort of conflict behind the scene with Brooklyn Frost. And that her sole issue was the fact that Brooklyn Frost unfollowed her, therefore making it seem as though there was some sort of issue between the two. And then also at the time, a lot of supporters felt like, well, you did link up with her ex-boyfriend, so it was obvious and should have been expected that she was going to then unfollow you. So a lot of supporters felt like all this energy that Brooklyn Queen was given towards Brooklyn Frost just did not make any sense here. And this just couldn't be based on an unfollow. So a lot of supporters were then led to believe that Jay Cinco must be over there pillow talking with Brooklyn Queen as to why she has all this energy towards Brooklyn Frost in this type of way. So now also keep in mind that Brooklyn Frost has never responded back to Brooklyn Queen regarding any of this. So now going back to this whole Deshay situation, a lot of supporters are bringing all of this back up, basically saying, well, you know what? It seems like Brooklyn Queen can dish it, but she can't take it. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this in the comment section down below. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for this video. So I will catch you next time with some more scoops. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks.